show you how to get Vulcanian and there's a lot of things you need to do before you can actually get to it so first thing first um, if you see this little house here in Port Deca there's a woman in here that is it's it's cooking something and she requests three items you need to make a uh, specific dish so what you got to do is then go to Rose Cove City that's where all the items are so let's go to go and fly to Roscoe City real quick and here we go we are at Roscoe City and I'm just gonna show you guys which Pokemon you actually need to get but first the most important part is to get yourself a Neuburn you get to get or Neubat I'm sorry Neubat and it needs to have the ability of Frisk what you gotta do is to put the Neuburn, uh, Neubat Loibat, yes, in the first slot in your party, and then you have to go and encounter Paris, which is located in Route 9. I will show you the locations. And this specific Pokemon can hold a small mushroom and a big mushroom. Uh, the small mushroom is a 50% chance of finding, and the big mushroom is a 5% chance of finding. And the item you need is a big mushroom. So Paris on Route 9 needs to hold a big mushroom and it, it will say when you're encountering it it will say down here uh, that uh, Paris is holding a big or a small mushroom and catch it if it holds a big mushroom the next one is ra 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 Ratata. <laughs> Ratata and this specific Pokemon can hold this item right here I'm going to show you guys what the names of the items are uh, chilling berry and Radada is it's uh, located in the Futlos Manor and it's a 5% chance of finding it holding the Chilean Berry. But always remember to use Noibat when you are encountering these Pokemon. The next item and the last item is Stardust. And to get Stardust, you have to go and catch yourself a, uh, a, a Staryu. And I found the Staryu, I actually found the shiny one. And Star you actually hold the item of Stardust. You have to catch that as well while you're using no Noibat because you have to see it's holding the item. So when you have all of those three items, you're ready to move on. So the locations to find these Pokemon are actually around Rose Cove and Route 9 and Footless Mater. So Star you can be found down here at the beach, down there. And the next one is Paris. It can be found on route 9 which is in here there we go we are on route 9 so parts can be found here only during daytime remember that it's only during daytime and the last but not least is is ratata can be found on footless meter and we're gonna go and i'm gonna go show, check, check it out where it is so Rosalia, why the heck did i i uh encounter you I used the uh, I used the item what okay, let's go and check it out again menu max ripple use it's still in effect okay why did the heck did I encounter something okay never mind so we're gonna go and check out where footloss mainer is it's over here on route 9 just go past these trees here and you will eventually end up at Fo footless mainer and there is actually Paris he's appears here during daytime and it can hold an item. This one didn't hold an item. Uh, like I said, it's a 5% chance of it holding uh, the big mushroom. Last location where you can find Ratata is in here. Fruitless Mainer. So that's the three Pokemon you need to catch that's holding the items. The next part of the thing is to go back to Port Deca. I haven't done this by the way, I haven't done this by delivering the items so I'm going to do that right now I'm just going to change that you can be the first one you not here so I'm going to change to my Deoxys there we go and then we're going to go in here of course you need to take the items off the Pokemon you have caught so let's go and talk to the girl or lady welcome to Kirk's kitchen today we'll be cooking up an Epinet's room well okay sorry about that I wanted to have my own cooking show someday and practice everything want to make after I don't have the ingredients if you bring me the big mushroom, we can get started. Do you happen to have a big mushroom? 
Yes, perfect, let's get started. And then, all right, next we're gonna do a chop of chili berry. I have that as well. I don't have a chili berry, do you have a chili berry? Yes, I do, because of the items I found. And finally, we need to top it off with a little stardust. And I have that as well, so there we go. Okay, let's do this. So she is probably cooking something, and there we go. Thank you for all your help. I want you to have this. And we got the shroom. And the shroom is actually gonna be used on one of the NPCs, or we're actually gonna give the shroom to one of the NPCs, and I'm gonna show you guys where it is. I wish you luck on your own endeavors. Awesome. Next thing you need to do is to use fly, and you need to go to Brimber City. That's the next location. And now, we are gonna go over here to the guy who's at the stone. You can see people are waiting for me to know that I'm recording. Awesome. This guy is actually hungry. He's really hungry. He needs some food. So we're gonna talk to this guy. I've been training my fist on this rock. I've been I've been at it so long as so I'm starting to get tired and hungry. What's that I smell? Is that Epi Neshroom or whatever it's called? Uh, that's my favorite meal. I always gets me pumped. Can I have your... Uh, yeah, of course you can have it. There we go. And I'm giving it to him and... Oh man, I can't believe how good this is. I can feel my adrenaline rushing now. And he's gonna crush. <laughs> Whoa! He just crushed the stone. Uh, well, I was so pumped after that meal, so I smashed right through that rock. My training has finally paid off. Thanks for the meal. You're welcome. So now we will be able to get down here, guys. So let's go down into the darkness. We are now in Steam Chamber. And Repellent went off. I'm actually going to use Repellent because I'm going to show you guys how to get Volcano. I'm not going to show you guys how to get find any other pokes in here. So this is the first time I've been here. And as you can see on the other side over there, you can see Volcanian. Look at this place, it looks insane. So we're gonna go over to him. Oh, let's see, this is actually a maze. So uh, I haven't been here before, by the way. So let's go through the whole cave. Oh, this looks epic. So probably we have to go down here, do we? Um, Let's see. Can I go up here? No, I can't. Okay, let's follow the path here. I haven't been here before, like I said. So this looks cool. This looks cool! Okay, so we're gonna go past this thing, and in here, and... Oh my god, look at this place! Let's use another one, just to do this fast. Wow, it looks insane! Love it! It's epic! Alright, so then we are up here, and now I think we'll be able to go in... Yeah, here we go, here's the door, right here. And there is the beast himself. Volcanian! So this is actually how you can get Volcanian in Brick Bronze, guys. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. I'm just gonna save here because I'm definitely gonna try and get a shiny one. Save successful. And let's talk to the fella, shall we? Yeah, I think we should talk to him. There we go. Nice. So that's actually how we get Volcanian in Brick Bronze, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please leave a like on the video. And of course, please subscribe for more awesome Brick Bronze videos. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!